Hey guys, Anthony with The Rag Company, and welcome to a long-awaited garage tour, where in today's video, we're touring something a little different, something you haven't seen on the channel before, but I think you're gonna be extremely excited to know what I'm talking about. So, with that said, for this garage tour, we're starting in the TRC Media Studio, which is kind of odd, but we're gonna head out this door. Uh, what is going on out? What is this? Mr. Fisher. Ivan. How are you today? What is this? Is this our garage tour for today? Yes, you You told me you were doing a garage tour, so you, I brought my garage. You, you brought it to me, quite literally. I mean, this is the media studio right here. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> here's the bus, the LaCroix Cruiser. Yeah. So uh, this is exciting. We get to have an actual tour, a garage tour of this thing today. So. I guess I'm wanting to know, where do we start? Do we start on this side, the other side? Well, we can start on this side, because I'll show you, you know, like any good garage tour, you have to show the detailing products, right? Oh, oh okay, we're gonna get that out of the way first. Yeah, All we're right. gonna start with the detailing products, because... Okay. And you've seen these videos before. Who hasn't? Oh my gosh, And okay. if you haven't seen the videos before, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and a thumbs up, and don't forget the comments. Anyways. So in this bay here, this is where we keep our water hoses, our uh, pad washing buckets, our buckets, our pressure washer, all our supplies. This is actually a heated bay. So part of our basement of our bus is actually heated. So our detailing supplies stay at a okay. nice 70 degrees so year round. This is the garage and the basement, kind of. Well, this is the basement. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay. So okay. the garage is on the other side of the bus. Oh, okay. So we start with the basement first. Okay, yeah. a little bit different than what we've done before, but hey, you know what? I'm here for it. This whole thing is different than what we've done before. Slightly, uh, yeah. And I can't wait. So let's go ahead and continue on. So coming around this side here, and you can see we are here at the Rag Company HQ. Exactly. Right? But. We just happened to park an entire garage, an entire home. Oh my gosh. So some people will recognize the Fiat from other Rag Company videos. And uh, yeah, we parked it here to show you basically where our garage is. No, so, so this is the garage. This can is I, the garage. Can, can I come in? Is yes, that okay? come on in, come All into right. the garage. So in the garage here, you notice the sound changes a little bit because it's, we're now in a garage. Yeah. We're not outside anymore. Now we can adjust the lighting depending on which direction we park the bus <laughs> and if we have the awning yeah, yeah. Outer, in or out. So, yeah. and we can actually adjust the angle of the awning too. Okay. So, and, you know, if we, if we want to, we can drop one side of the awning because, you know, if we want someone not to hit their head like you, yeah. or we can put it up, get it out of the way, depending if we've got a lifted truck or a little Fiat. Wow, okay, so you have multiple lighting options here within exactly. this garage. Okay. Yeah. And so what are you doing about weather? What are you doing about the uh, the temperature, I should say? We drive to a place that's nicer. Okay, all yeah. right. It's it's easier that way. So you just, it just warms right up that way, or it cools right off, depending on where depending you Depending on where we're driving. So in the summer, <laughs> we tend to drive north, and in the winter, we try to drive south. Wow, all right. Well, that uh, that sounds like an absolute plan. I mean, that's, yeah. that's amazing. And so, all right, so we've covered, I mean, at this point, we've covered the lighting. We've covered a little bit of the, the weather, the temperature control yeah. in the garage. We've covered a little bit of the storage. And so for this size here, so we have the Fiat in here, which is a relatively small car. Right. What's the square footage of this? 210 square feet. So we have 10 feet by 21 feet. Okay, all right. Well, About the size of the booth that you'll see the ride company at MTE. That's the yeah. size of the booth you had this year. That, that is. Exactly. That so. is. So, and just so you know, now we know we're able to fit a, a Fiat inside here. Exactly. Uh, comfortably, right, yeah. into our booth size. Right. So, with that said, you could probably fit maybe two small cars, at least get some of it undercover, right? Or maybe a motorcycle in a car or something yeah, like that. Yeah, or, you know, we can actually fit a full-size pickup truck under here, too. Yeah, okay. You know, 21 feet this is the standard garage line. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. And so um, I really like what you've done with the place. And so let's talk about some of the paint, right? Well, because uh, the paint here is actually part of the house itself. Exactly. And you know that I'm a detailer. Yeah. And we tend to have this little thing called OCD. Yes. Had this been painted with nice shiny paint like the Fiat, mm -hmm. we'd always be wanting to polish it and clean it and make it pristine. Yeah. Well, the bed liner negates that. Okay. You can only do so much with bed liner. Yeah. So it's so, more of a matte satin yeah, finish. It's coated. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's got a ceramic coating on it. We wash it yeah, every three to six months, depending on need, because mm -hmm. uh, you really can't tell that it's dirty or not. 
Yeah. Now, today we can because we experienced a Idaho phenomenon called mm -hmm. dirty rain. You it happens have like in, once or twice a year. We blessing. just happen to be here. Yep. Yeah, blessing more of a curse. <laughs> but anyways, so that's what's going on here. So uh, you can see on the windows what it's left behind. Sylvia hasn't washed the side of the bus. We started, you know, we were trying to get the bus washed, but you came out sooner than you were oh, supposed I'm to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, you know, what can you do, right? Yeah. But um, I guess I want to know, right? Because this is your... This is part of the house, if this is the garage that we're in exactly, right now, yeah. right? So what year was this house built? This is a 1995 Motor Coach Industries 102 DL3. Okay, that's a lot right there, all yeah. right. And so um, what was this thing at one time? So it started this, its life as a Peter Pan commuter bus in New Jersey, going no from way. New Jersey to Boston and back, just back and forth all the time. So uh, this thing's probably got, what, you find any pixie dust left over? Or how no, does... actually it's named, because Peter Pan has an interesting way of naming all their buses. Yeah. This one was Here Comes Tinker. Okay. Yeah, that's what, that's its trade name was Here Comes Tinker. All right, and so, and then, I mean, and then it went into your hands, or was there another uh, transitional It went period? through a few other hands before us, but okay. it, it ended up in a good It home. ended up in, in safe hands here yes. that were able to really restore it and bring it back to life. Yeah. Well, this is pretty awesome, and so you have other built-in storage into your garage, into your home here that I'm seeing down below here. Now, what is most of this stuff? Well, under here, and we'd have to move the Fiat out of the way, but in here we have a barbecue. We have okay. a smoker, a griddle, some lawn chairs. So basically everything you need to have comfort outside. Absolutely. Sort of the man cave sort of thing. Okay. The next one, we keep our recumbent bikes. We have our electrical system, things like that. Yep. The next one is the one nobody likes. It's the one where the fuel tank is. Okay. So 189 gallons of fuel, do the math. Yeah, that uh, doesn't sound fun. No, and then the final one is the toolbox. So okay. we'll show you that one because you know, man cave and it's a garage and we'll make sure that jimmy gets some b-roll of all this because i think that people are going to want to see this so let me just move this post out of the way oh we can adjustable oh look at this that is pretty sweet if i say so myself so i was wondering you could probably pull one from that side so yeah we have our nice little roll out toolbox here okay this is pretty awesome so that's pretty yeah. that's that's pretty awesome so every know. tool we used to build the bus is in the bus with the exception of the table saw because yeah, yeah big, pretty, you know 800 size. pound cast iron table saw didn't quite fit in here yeah well that's pretty uh it's pretty amazing if i say so myself now i was going to ask you right so i don't really ask about the foundation in which homes are built on but these uh these tires are pretty big yeah so they're 315 80 22.5s okay um their Iron Man tires. It's what we could find at the time because of the pandemic. They had sort of a shortage of tires. Okay. Still do actually. So yeah, they're but they're good tires. They've done the job so far. Well, they look expensive regardless, just based on the size alone. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. It's not exactly the same price range as the tires on the Fiat. That's what I was been thinking. Yeah. yeah. So um, and then back here, what is this back here in this? Uh... Well, in this one we have one of our air conditioners. Okay. Or mini splits. So one of our heat pumps is there. Yeah. And behind the heat pump is a little engine. Okay. Okay. Twelve point seven liter. And so then what's uh what's all back here? Just well just actually, just 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 humor me here. Just humor. So we have the small engine. Okay. No, inline six. Yeah. Twelve point seven liters. So two point one liters per cylinder. Yeah. So each one of these cylinders is bigger than the engines in your Honda. And so things like I have a one point six. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there's like eight of your engines in this engine uh, those of us who like turbos yes you know intercoolers are a big thing mm-hmm yeah that one's the intercooler oh good the other god one's the radiator. so talk about that's can you put your hand up kind of just for a size reference that is uh yeah and unlike anthony i actually, he, actually he, have <laughs> human sized hands <laughs> So, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. This is this is absolutely a beast back you here. You can see the little turbo on the side too. Uh, just a little, right? Just a little guy for yeah. people that want to see. You know, it's not all that big. You know, no, no. you can might be able to put your hand, three hands, in there if you'd want to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, pretty insane. This so, is cool. 470 horsepower, which isn't impressive. It's the 1,600 foot-pounds of torque that's a little yeah. more impressive. Yeah, that that that's what gets it going, and so. Uh, very, very cool. And so I was just going to ask, just because, you know, part of the garage tour here, yep. I see you have um, some kind of, uh, what is this? 
What is this down here? It's like a hitch of some sort. So that's a blue wax because the Fiat doesn't drive itself. Okay. You know, autonomous cars, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> the Fiat follows the bus by itself. Yeah. Just hook it up here and it keeps a safe distance from the bus at all times. Just keeps moving along with the bus. Very cool. Very, very cool. And so uh, before that you had the Jeep. So the Fiat's kind of probably a little bit better on gas than the Jeep I'm imagining, A right? little better. More fun to drive actually. Not saying anything against Jeeps, but I wasn't really a Jeep kind of guy. So, I tried them, enjoyed them, but not my, uh, my idea of a good time. So Ivan, we, I felt like we just walked a, a quarter mile there. How long is this thing? 45 feet. 45 feet. How wide? Eight and a half feet wide oh, and wow. 12 and, uh, well, 12 point, 12 foot, seven inches tall. Okay. Wow. So, um, do you, uh, I was going to say, we don't like to go inside people's homes, but if there's anything that you'd like to well, come on in through, I uh, mean, uh, it would be pretty cool if they take people along for the ride. Now, I think we have one of the uh, TRC staff hanging out inside the bus. Oh, it's probably Jimmy. He's yeah. probably sleeping on the job. Yeah. Something like that. I won't be surprised if he's, uh, if he's laying down. All right. Yeah, so, it, you know, true to form, Jimmy is just hanging out, relaxing, enjoying Jimmy, what are you doing <laughs> inside here? Yeah. You, you've been in Very here comfortable, this, yeah. the entire time? Very so, homely. So <laughs> he's enjoying the fire, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. But come on back. Oh so, my gosh, I mean, this first off, I just gotta take in the views here because this is extremely impressive. From where I'm standing right now, walking in, being greeted by these extremely comfortable looking seats. I mean that that looks those I mean those look amazing. Yep. This whole entryway is extremely nice. I would uh, I think these are very plush looking. And so uh yeah, this is a uh, pretty pretty amazing. Thank you. So, uh, I mean, gosh, I don't, I don't even know where to start. So, can I ask you, let's, let's start with the, what's above us here. The so, roof. A, yeah, pine ceiling. Uh, we did pine uh, lats on the walls as well. Just that home look, homey type look. Yep. And uh, from there, we went with white cabinets to break it up a little bit, not have it all wood and oppressive. Uh, stainless steel and aluminum trim throughout the bus. Yeah. And, you know, a bit of checker plate for that garage type look. Because very, oh, I can see it yeah, yeah. right here. Okay, yeah, very, exactly. very cool, very, very cool. Yeah. And so um, a lot of storage up here, all the, sort of, all the cabinets yeah. there, kind of going up from there. Right, and then cabinets all the way through. And being the automotive type guy that I am, well, you know, if you're in an RV, one of the issues is keeping these drawers locked. Yeah. Right. So we have a power door lock system, but now they're locked. And magically now right. they're unlocked can i try that i gotta you, you I, can I, I gotta click it once just to no way yes. that is in fact a so how do you do that well i made a complete system of power door locks and actually we can look at one back here i don't know if the lighting is sufficient for that i can i can yep i can see it yep and we so can get locked, roll. unlocked no way yes that is pretty amazing this is i mean we this is the kitchen here which is absolutely gorgeous yeah i love the butcher block here i mean yeah we have the appliance garage and, the, so. and so what do you mean garage well because you know like any good garage you need to close the doors mm -hmm. and as we're going down the road we can secure the doors like that very very cool you put a lot of thought into this now uh, i noticed the size of this refrigerator is not a uh, it's not a small fridge by any means. It's not your typical RV fridge. It's actually a standard household fridge. Wow. Because this is our home. This is. Yeah. This we is. don't have anything else in the world. So we don't pay <laughs> we don't pay property taxes because wherever we park is home. Yeah. So yeah. today my home address is uh, 5430, 5430 West State Street. Street in Boise, Idaho. Yep. Coming back to the bathroom, if Anthony ever comes into your RV or van or anything like that the first thing he's going to ask about isn't how you built it what side no it's the toilet where it's like where's the bathroom what yeah. does it look like i gotta right. take a look at this thing because that's what that's what honestly it excites me the most because i just want to see how people do it i want to see exactly. how it's done so we have the toilet yeah as yeah. you know you like and lots of space around it you know it can oh, stretch out if you'd like to stretch out at, well this is almost this is literally the size of a, of a bathroom a home bathroom right we have a you know standard 36 by 36 inch shower so nice size shower yeah. and behind door number one okay well, can i come back here we have washer and dryer oh i see and that. all yeah. the solar array 
Holy so smokes. This whole bus is powered by solar. Well, not the not the uh, moving forward part of it, yeah. but everything in it is powered by solar. Wow, so this is everything, so these are all, all the panels right here? Yeah, so work? we have 12 panels on the roof. They're divided into four different segments. Yeah. We have a washer dryer, and this washer dryer is spectacular for microfiber towels. Because it? it doesn't have heat. It, okay. It dries by evaporation. Very, very cool, okay. No, I like all this. I love the wall, I love everything you did here uh, with that kind of backsplash tile. I mean, this is beautiful too. I mean, this is, it's nicer than the sink I have at home. Well, if I'm honest, that's pretty amazing. And then the bedroom slash office. Okay. So behind the glass wall is all my suits. Yep. And uh, so that's sliding doors, full closet in the back. And this bed is a Murphy bed. So it goes up and below it comes my desk. This could, this could now become the uh, use your filming studio, right? You come here, you actually do it in the I do it on the kitchen table, yeah, but yeah. that's me. Yeah, uh, I could do it in here if I, you know, took the time to put the bed up. And what things we like can that. do is we'll do a backdrop, right? We drop a green screen yeah, down, exactly. right? And then we put the camera up, and then you are, hey, I'm in Hawaii. Aloha, right? <laughs> yeah. Or I'm mean, here at the TRC Media Studio. Exactly. And so, uh, and then you have mini splits, right? So that's uh, or basically is what they are air conditioning. Sorry. Yeah, uh, and heat as well. And heat, okay. Yeah. yeah, but we also have in floor heat. We've got uh, heat exchangers throughout the bus so we like our comfort i can i can definitely tell and so this is very very comfortable i mean all the lighting the led lighting i mean all the ventilation here like i'll tell you it does not feel stuffy in here by any means it feels like i'm in a home that's got the windows cracked and um it feels great yeah so coming back out through here we can see the main i mean that's the the, the, the brain of the unit, obviously, whoever is driving, right? It's most likely not Ivan is the brain, right? Exactly. <laughs> no, Sylvie drives a little more than I do. Okay. And so we have our other air conditioning unit right up here. Yeah. More storage. And then you have a couch right here. Now, I'm sure people are going to ask, what do you do if you're sleeping more than uh, two people at a time? Well, we try not to. Okay. <laughs> but we have this table that comes down and makes okay. a bed. Yep. The benches that are over there actually come here to extend the benches here. Mm -hmm. And if we want to seat more people to eat, we just pull this out. We have a leaf that drops in. Oh, but it also cool. happens to make a standard double-sized bed, 54 inches by 75. Wow. wow. Yeah. And then the astute watchers will have noticed these little hooks here. So there's one here and there's one over there. And those hooks... Hold a hammock. Oh, okay. So you could uh, you could you have a nice lay. You can have you can hang in a hammock and exactly kick back, right? Yep. Crack the windows open. Right. And finally, one of the questions we get a lot is, but where's the TV? Yeah. Where is you the know, TV? When we want to watch the Rag Company YouTube channel, we need something to watch the Rag Company YouTube channel on. Well, we pull down this screen, and now that's the size of our television because we have a projector over here oh very very cool jimmy you, you ready to you have anything you want to watch today yeah i think we'll just watch like uh i don't know trc or something okay all right that's that's a good plug jimmy. yeah yeah thank yeah. you um fireplace down there love yep. that it's an ethanol fireplace okay so okay. no need to haul any wood around you put yeah. one cup of ethanol in and it gives you one hour of burn put two cups in do the math you can probably figure it out amazing yeah, yeah. so i saw your previous home and it was pretty awesome, but I have to say you outdid yourself on this one. I, I, I think I like this one just, just a little more. A little just, more, yeah. Just a little more. So do we. You know, you evolve in time, and yeah. this is what we built. So. Very cool. And so I will ask you, though, right, because if this is your home and this is your garage here, we'll kind of step back out. Yep. What are some of the coolest places your garage or home have been, right? What are some of the coolest backdrops you've been able to kind of create? Well, so far this year, we've been to 26 states. All right. Uh, we've been all around. And people ask us, where's your favorite spot? We don't have a favorite spot. You know, it really comes down for us to meeting people. So it's people that we meet that yep. make it interesting for us. Yep. The place is irrelevant. Yep. You know, TRC could be in California, it's here in Idaho, it could be in New York State. It would be the same for us because of the great people like you. Thank you very much. But I mean, I just didn't know if you were gonna have an answer. Like, well, one time we parked on the side of the Grand Canyon, washed a car, you know, did a rinseless wash on the side. But, you know, oh yeah, we've parked on beaches. <laughs> we've, parked, we've parked in Walmart parking lots. Yeah. Uh, we've slept here one night. So, okay. uh, you know, we've been all over the, the US and Canada. Yeah. Like I say, to us, it comes down to the people, it comes down not to the, the people. places. Perfect, that's awesome. There are some mornings when we open the, the blinds, 
and we see mountains or we see a beach yeah we see a forest there are other times when we see a concrete building yeah yeah it's all the same we're home yep yep exactly you're home and um, it's the people you get to meet along the way right exactly. you, you get to you get to enjoy the journey that way so yep. very cool well ivan thank you so much for giving us a tour of the garage, the home, and everything in between there. Thank you, and sir. So, if they want to stay up to date on, you know, what where this garage goes or where it takes you, where are they able to find you? They will find the bus on the Lacroix Cruiser YouTube channel. Okay. So just Very look cool. for Lacroix Cruiser. We're okay. easy to find. Very cool. Instagram. Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Right on. Okay. Well, yeah. awesome, guys. Thank you so much. And so we get to enjoy this garage for another day or two with Ivan uh, before it heads off on the road again. But uh, pretty awesome setup. Seriously, I wouldn't mind doing a, a wash out here once or twice. Uh, I'm not going to do a wash Wednesday. You, know, you can't sign me up for that. This is too we big. Tried. We tried. Yeah. I said, hey, guys, this is a little bit too out, out of my... Uh, out of my out of my range yes. but uh as always so if you guys like this video if you guys like the relatable garage content make sure to give us a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at the rad company yeah.